Hello, my name is Dr. David Purse, and I'm the Public Health Authority for the City of Houston. I'm here today to talk to you about the Zika virus. You've probably already heard some about the Zika virus. It is a new viral infection that is spread by mosquitoes. We've been seeing it predominantly in Latin America and the Caribbean, but it can spread to South Texas, the Gulf Coast regions, and Florida, and we expect that there is a good chance that it may. What do you need to know about the Zika virus? Well, first of all, for most people, if they become infected with the Zika virus, they won't have any symptoms at all. So those folks who are traveling from Latin America and the Caribbean who come to the United States, or those of us who go there and visit and come back, and if we get bit by mosquitoes and get infected, many people will have no symptoms. About 20% of people will have some symptoms, and they're generally mild. They're body aches, joint aches, you feel like you have the flu, achy, maybe a little fever. A characteristic uh, symptom of the Zika virus, however, is a rash across the chest. The skin becomes red, a little bumpy, itchy, it's discomforting. Also, conjunctivitis. This is where the eyes become red and they drain. So if you have those symptoms, it's important that you recognize those. You should go to your doctor. There's no treatment for it, but we would like for you to be tested to find out whether or not that's what you have or perhaps something else. And that's important because when people are having the symptoms, they have lots of virus in their body which means that if they get bit by a mosquito here in the Houston area, that mosquito now becomes what we call a vector to transmit the virus to somebody else locally. So we really want folks who have traveled to and from these countries in this part of the world to make sure that when they come back, that they do things to prevent themselves from becoming uh, bit. The rest of us need to do these same things in order to prevent becoming bit by a mosquito who may have been infected by somebody else. So what are those things? Well, we talk about our 3D Zika defense. The first is to dress. That means you wear long sleeves and long pants when you're out um, in the yard in, in, in and around Houston. Now, that's if you can because, boy, it's hot outside in the summer and wearing long sleeves and long pants can be a problem. So we advise you to do that, but if you can't do that, if you can't tolerate it, then make sure you wear mosquito repellent. And that's the second D, that's the DEET. So get mosquito repellents that have DEET in them, D-E-E-T. It's a chemical that's in the mosquito repellent. And the third is to really interrupt the reproduction cycle for the mosquitoes so they won't have the mosquitoes in your neighborhood in the, or at least not on your property to begin with. And that's to drain, that's the third D, to drain all those breeding sites. And those include the swimming pools, the flower baths, your gutters, any place where there's a small amount of water, even, even a bottle cap full of water is enough for the mosquitoes to, uh, to breed in. And this is all very important because while most people get no symptoms and some people will get mild symptoms, Pregnant women are at risk of their baby becoming infected with the Zika virus. And the Zika virus attacks the nervous system of the developing child. And it basically causes the brain and the spinal cord and the nervous system to stop growing at the point of infection. The skull will then form over that small brain and the child will be born with a condition known as microcephaly, which is a devastating complication. And it will affect that child for the remainder of its life. There is no cure for it, there is no treatment for it and it is devastating, but we can prevent that, and we can prevent the situation that we've been seeing in the Latin America and the Caribbean of this widespread Zika infection if we do our part, and that is the Ds that I talked about, the 3D Zika defense. If we do that, this community should be in great shape. Thank you.